How's it going guys? Grant Henry here with Rise Magic. Today we are going to be going over the reverse fan. Now this is something that we have covered slightly in tutorials in the past, but today we are going to be giving a complete overview as well as tips and tricks on how to do it better. It's a lot of fun, it's a great move to learn, so let's get right into the tutorial. But honestly, you've got to know that this ain't living, but we can run. And let it burn, let it burn. You've got to All right, getting right to the tutorial. First thing, we are going to be using the Bicycle Vintage Series Thistleback playing cards. This one I have laying around that I kind of like. So, getting into the move, actually. The first thing you're going to want to do is position your thumb on the right side of the deck, or left side if you're a lefty, or just want to use your left hand with your knuckle, this middle knuckle of your thumb, being around the middle of the deck. All right, and you're gonna want it horizontal with your thumb kind of right on the right or left side. So once you're in that position, you're gonna want your fingers curled around like you're kind of making a, like you're kind of making a loose fist right underneath that packet or the whole deck. So once you're there, you can start the actual move. You're gonna be wanting to Focus a lot on the fingers that are below the deck, not so much on your thumb. You're just going to be wanting to keep your thumb straight so that it just kind of holds the deck. But your fingers underneath are really what's going to be making this move work. So, as we go into it, you are going to be taking your first finger to start it all off. The other three fingers aren't going to be doing anything at the very beginning. And you're going to be pushing off with your first finger. And then once you get to about a fourth of the fan, your middle finger is going to make contact and start to push off as well. Once you get to a little bit over halfway, your first finger is going to start pulling down rather than extending and going outwards to kind of make the fan uh, have that circular shape. At the same time, your ring finger is going to be making contact with the deck and starting to push off more cards from the original packet. As you get to a little bit towards the 180 degree mark, you are going to be making contact with your pinky finger and continuing to push out as you pull down with, continue to use your middle finger almost as a pivot point to pull down with your first finger to really make that circular shape on the outside of the fan. Now, as you continue to do that, you can kind of pull in with your thumb just a little bit to give it a little bit more of a circular shape, but that isn't completely necessary. All right, so that concludes this tutorial here at Rise Magic. I hope you guys get a lot of mileage out of this move, impress some friends, have fun performing it. But if you have any questions about it, please do feel free to leave a comment down below. Uh, we'll respond to you and try to make sure that you know how to do the move correctly. But other than that, if you feel like we earned your like, please do click that button. And if you like what you see, please subscribe because there'll be a lot more coming. But other than that, I hope you guys have a great day, night, evening, whenever you're watching this, and I will see you next time. Have a good one. And I can't believe myself. I never thought that this would be our end. But it's nothing new. And my love is honesty. I can push it back, push it back.